Well, there it is. Lothering. Pretty as a painting. Ah, so you have finally decided to rejoin us, have you? Falling on your blade in grief seemed like too much trouble, I take it. Is my being upset so hard to understand? Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? Before or after I stopped laughing. Right, very creepy. Forget I asked. Yes, I know. I was just... thinking. No wonder it took so long, then. Oh, I get it. This is the part where we're shocked to discover how you've never had a friend your entire life. I can be friendly when I desire to. Alas, desiring to be more intelligent does not make it so. Anyway, I thought we should talk about where we intend to go first. This should be good. I think what Flemeth suggested is the best idea. These treaties, have you looked at them? There are three main groups that we have treaties for. The Dalish Elves, the Dwarves of Orzammar, and the Circle of Magi. I also still think that Arleman is our best bet for help. We might even want to go to him first. Short of leaving for Elden to seek them out, the only place to send word to would be Weisalpt Fortress, and that's thousands of miles away. Well, I don't know where we should go. I'll do whatever you decide. Now that is unsurprising. Al Eamon is a good man, but I don't know for sure he's where we should go. I'm not going to fight about it. Go after your enemy directly. Find this man Loghain and kill him. The rest of this business with the treaties can then be done in safety. Yes, he certainly wouldn't see that coming, and it's not like he has the advantage of an army and experience and... I was asked for my opinion and I gave it. If your wish is to come up with reasons why something cannot be done, we will stand here until the Darkspawn are upon us. I can give you directions, if you like. He'll be at the castle Redcliffe, in the far western part of Ferelden, next to the mountain passes. If he isn't there, someone will be able to tell us where he is. If we head eastward, towards the Brazilian forest, we should hear word of one of the clans that wanders that area. Hopefully, they will still be there. You're going to have to. I certainly wouldn't want to go there alone. Why? Would it frighten you? Are you afraid of dark and sunken places, hmm? I mean we won't have any choice. You'll be there under Grey Warden business and the dwarves will just have to see reason. They certainly are renowned for an abundance of reason, tis true. You don't know where Orzammar is? He doesn't know how to find it on the surface, fool. He has never been here before. If you follow the west road around Cullenhard Lake into the mountains through Gurland's Pass, from there I expect you'd know the way. That will be at their tower on Lake Cullenhard to the north. We'll be looking for the first enchanter, whoever that is. If he isn't out in the field with his army, he's probably going to be at the palace in Denerim. We can go to Denerim, but somehow I suspect that they're not going to let us just walk around. Only a suspicion, of course. Then you have a plan. Fair enough. Let's head into the village whenever you're ready.
just how smart a Mabari is supposed to be, anyway. Do you think they understand everything we say? Oh, is that so? You could just be listening to the tone of my voice. You could be an utter moron, for all we know. Uh... Hey, 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 now! <laughs> There's nothing saying that a moron can't be cute and adorable. Who's the cute and adorable puppy? Ignorance is bliss, isn't it? That's what the Chantry kept telling me, anyhow. I'm scared. When are we going home? Hmm. We don't see many dwarves in these parts. You here to trade? Then you'd best clear out. We're loyal to the king here, and word from the north is the wardens betrayed King Caelan. Tan Loghain has a bounty on any who survived. Tan Loghain? Betray Merrick's boy? Bah, your story needs a bit of work. I meant... that's quite a story. Tan Loghain killed the king? Mercy, terrible business, that. Can't promise I'm gonna answer them. What isn't? We got chastened barbarians in every farmholder south of Kalanhard running from the Darkspawn. Not that they'll be safe here with the army gone. You could talk to the Elder, though she's got her hands full getting everyone on their way. For now, most folks go to Sir Bryant. He's head of the Chantry's Templars. He's gone to war and taken all his soldiers, leaving us to fend for ourselves. There's not going to be much left when he returns, if he returns. Were? You mean they're gone? Well, goody for you. Now there's no one to drive off the blighted refugees. Sir Brian's would be glad, though. He's been talking about offering a reward for anyone who'd run them out. Don't let me stop you. As if we needed we more lucky. fighting here. Really Don't you see together. how scared oh, everyone is? Kill them. Many didn't. Please, we came here to get away from the fighting. I'm scared. When are we going home? I want to go home. You there. If you're looking for safe shelter, I'll warn you. There's none to be found. Move on if you can. Lothering's lost. Thieves prey on the unfortunate whenever they get the chance. We've had refugees streaming from the south for the last two days. The Chantry and Tavern are full to bursting. There simply isn't enough food to go around, and we Templars can barely keep order. You'd be better off elsewhere, my friend. I'm just out here to keep an eye out for Darkspawn. Please ask someone in town. No offense. The ban has marched north with Tern Loghain, so Lothering's on its own. Most folks look to Elder Miriam. Otherwise, you could speak to Sir Bryant in the Chantry, I suppose. It's up to you. I'm scared. When are we going home? Greetings, Sir Dwarf. Your folk are famous for their generosity. Might you spare some bread? 
We thought it would be safer in Lothering, that the Terran would bring his soldiers here. But bandits attacked us and took everything. Our food, our clothes, my daughter's pet lamb. Nobody cares about a few elves. Can you help us? You killed them? That's wonderful news. Perhaps our belongings are still there. I can't thank you enough, friend. Even if we don't get everything back, it's... It's good to know others will be safe. Mother! Where are you? Have you seen my mother? She's really tall, and she has red hair. We live on a big farm hold, all of us. Some mean men with swords came, and Mother told me to run to the village as fast as I could, so I did. She said she'd be right behind me, but I've been waiting and waiting, and I can't see her. He went with William to the neighbours yesterday, but he didn't come back. Mother said I wasn't to go with anyone. I'm supposed to wait for her here, in the village. A whole silver! Wow, thank you! So, um... You're a dwarf, aren't you? Father says dwarves are really greedy, but you're not greedy at all. Thank you for helping me. Hmm. Please, As if we came we needed here to get away from the here. fighting. Don't you see how scared everyone is? So many strangers are about now. And Eileen spoke unto the masses, My hearth is yours, my bread is yours, my life is yours. For all who walk in the sight of the Maker are one. <laughs> Let all repeat the chant of light. Only the word dispels the darkness upon us. He can't answer you. He's chanted Devons. One of them that can only say the chant of light. His board has letters of good deeds to be doing. My father fixed Widow Allison's roof once, and the charter paid him, he did. A learned child is a blessing upon his parents and onto the Maker. Unless it's the chant of light, no. And so Rajmael in the heathen temple recanted. Speak only the word, sing only the chant, then the golden city is thine, spoke Andraste. What? Oh, you got him to speak! Ha! Uh, what hath man's sin wrought? Oh, he cheated! Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. Dark Swan will feast on your living heart! Take your children! I brought my family to Lothering. Back off! I have the right to charge what I wish. You profit from their misfortune. I should have the Templars give away everything in your carts. You wouldn't dare. Any of you step too close to my goods and I'll... It's so nice to see everyone working together in a crisis. 
warms the heart. Oh, you there. You look able. Would you care to make a tiny profit helping a beleaguered businessman? <laughs> I'm not the only one with some business sense. He is charging outlandish prices for things people desperately need. Their blood is filling his pockets. Tis only survival of the fittest. All of these Cretans would do the same in his shoes, given the chance. I have limited supplies. The people decide what those supplies are worth to them. You bought most of your wares from these very people last week. Now they flee for their lives, and you want to talk business? Look, stranger, I've a hundred silvers if you drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. I'm an honest merchant, nothing more. You want me to bid against him? We don't have that kind of coin. We have nothing to offer but our gratitude. Would it help these folks if they could buy no goods at all? They spend their very last coin because they are desperate, and this man preys upon them as surely as the bandits outside the city. Ah, I'm not arguing anymore. Drive off this woman and get your hundred silvers. Otherwise, I'm taking my wagon and leaving. Maker's breath. Sometimes it's truly not worth operating this far south. Just charge what you would have before this tragedy. Fine, yes. Just stop complaining. You're giving me a headache. So, we have come to solve every squabble in the village personally. My, but the Darkspawn will be impressed. Thank you for your generous assistance. May the Maker watch over your path. Are you here to make my headache, or do you actually want to buy something? Mission accomplished. I hope you're happy. Are you here to make my headache, or do you actually want to buy something? It isn't much, but take a look if you want.
dead. There is no... The legions of evil are on your doorstep. They will feast upon our hearts. There is nowhere to run. This evil will cover the world like a plague of locusts. Please, you're scaring the children. Better to slit their throats now than let them suffer at darkspawn hands. There! One of their minions is already amongst us. This man bears their evil stench. Can you not see the vile blackness that fills him? Please stop! Somebody shut his mouth! But isn't he right? The ban left us. We're going to die. This minion is but the first of those who will destroy us! No! I have seen them! You cannot run! You cannot fight! There is nothing to do! No hope is left! Are you calling me a coward? I... I am shamed. But the monsters will take you all. The blackness will come! He was right, wasn't he? There's no hope for us. You're right. We can't give up. But we can't fight. What are we supposed to do? We can't lie down and die either. We must go north to Denerim. The evil shall descend upon us! Maybe with that blasted chasing gone, my headache will go as well. I want to go home. As if we needed more fighting here. Don't you see how scared everyone is? If you seek refuge in the Chantry, there's simply no room left. So many are coming to Lothering. I make no assumptions. I know it's not something many dwarves do, but if you wish to offer devotion to the Maker, you may enter. The revered mother runs the Chantry itself, and Sir Bryant heads the Templars stationed here. Were? Did you drive them off? Well, Sir Bryant will appreciate that. Not since Tairn Loghain passed by with his army. It's a shame about the king. But with the Darkspawn coming, few can think of anything else. Make her watch over you. Please, we came here to get away from the fighting. What happened to the king is so terrible. Is anywhere Please. safe? I brought my we family to Lothering because I thought away. my family to Lothering of Darkspawn stragglers. Are you here to see the Reverend Mother too? The head of this chantry. She's very busy, but I think she's free now. I came to ask for a blessing. With my family abandoning the farm to flee north, we'll need all the grace the Maker can offer. Uh, not to be rude, but how's a dwarf come to be here? I've seen you people in Lothering sometimes, but never the Chantry. I suppose with the Darkspawn coming, you have other business with the Chantry. Well, good luck to you. 
I need to get underway. If I'm lucky, I'll make it back to the farm hold by nightfall. We are the only hope of protection this village has now, and I will not abandon them. That is all. May the Maker have mercy on us. Yes? Who might you be? I see. I am Sir Bryant, commander of the Lothering Templars. Tan Loghain declared all Grey Wardens traitors responsible for the King's death. You know this, I hope. I don't believe the Grey Wardens would be as careless or malicious as the Tan claims. But either way, there it is. It is best you not linger, though. Just in case. The revered mother leads this flock. I merely command her Templars. Normally, our role is to protect the Chantry and seek out unsanctioned magic. For now, it is all we can do to protect the innocent. We have more than swords at our disposal. We're taught to dispel unholy magics as well. If only our powers work to keep away the Darkspawn. Alas, it is not so. In her study, no doubt. Preparing what she will take when we eventually evacuate. Our ban was summoned by Tan Loghain, and he took his soldiers north with him. Lothering has been abandoned. If the matter is important, certainly. Other than the Darkspawn Horde bearing down on us, none of it is good. Teon Loghain is set to declare himself king, I hear. Disaster piled on disaster. Teon Loghain has no legitimate claim on the throne. He may be a hero, and his daughter may be queen, but he is a commoner, and the king's corpse is barely cold. If Arl Eamon was able to intervene, perhaps it would not have gone this far. I do not care who takes the throne. Only fools fight over who owns a cottage while it burns down around them. Arl Eamon has fallen ill, and his knights are on a quest for the sacred urn filled with Andraste's ashes, said to cure any malady. He must be very ill if they chase miracles as the only cure. One of the Arl's knights, Sir Donal, is here searching for fantasies while... Never mind. Ask him if you care about this foolishness. They are. With the ban having taken his men north, the village is left to its fate. We will evacuate as many as we can before the Horde reaches us. I will stay as long as I am needed. Now, unless there's something else you need. I cannot openly help you, I fear, but... Here, take this key. It opens the large cabinet on the far wall. There is more there than we can carry when we evacuate, so take what you need. Maker's breath, how many times must we drive them off? All of them? By yourself? It's true. I saw it from my post. It was over so fast, we didn't even have time to get over there. Sad that it needed to come to that. But then they asked for it. Will you accept a small reward for your service? I wish I could afford such help to be truthful. Take your reward at any rate. It is all I have to offer. If it interests you, there is a Chanter's board outside full of quests that need doing. The Chanters even offer pay for some of them. Now, unless there's something else you need. If the matter is important, certainly. Only if you're interested in the business of mages. I have heard word that the Templars who watch over the Circle of Magi's Tower have called for the right of annulment. Hopefully I've heard wrong. If the right of annulment is invoked, 
the tower and every living soul within will be destroyed. We need the Circle's help. We should go and find out what's happening. To have such a call when mages are needed to fight the Darkspawn, something terrible must have happened. I have nothing else to tell you. The only news I care about is the approaching Horde. Now, unless there's something else you need... Travel safely, and may the Maker watch over you. You, miss, what is your name? You seem quite odd to me. You would not be the first to think so, but avert your eyes. I will not have you staring over long. Best get used to it. I'll be watching you. We want no trouble here. I brought my family to Lothering because I thought it would be safe. I brought my family to Lothering because I thought it would be safe. Please, we came here to get away from the fighting. I hear those bandits are back again. Why don't the Templars kill them? Who? I beg your pardon. I did not see you approach. Sir Donald? Is that you? Alistair? By the Maker, how are you? I, I was certain you were dead. Not yet. No thanks to turn Loghain. If Arl Eamon were well, he'd set Loghain straight soon enough. So you're here looking for the Urn of Sacred Ashes, then? I am indeed. Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness. But I fear we are chasing a fable, with each day my hope dims. Supposedly, the urn contains the ashes of the prophetess Andraste. Surely you know all this. If you're truly interested, there are books here containing a great deal of lore. Nothing I have found leads me to believe that this was anything more than a quest of desperation. I intend to return to Redcliffe soon and tell the Arlesa exactly that once Sir Henrik arrives. I expected to take advantage of the Chantry's library, in fact, but my skills are better suited to battle than chasing down tales. My mission takes priority, but I fear I shall be returning to Redcliffe with nothing to show for my efforts. Why is that, if I may ask? I see. The Arl is a popular man, it's true. Tern Loghain, however, is a hero throughout Ferelden. Whatever the Tern has done or not done, the Arl remains ill or worse. That is my primary concern. He may be dead already. Or perhaps his luck has changed in the weeks I have been gone. We should see what's happening in Redcliffe ourselves. I believe that now more than ever. If nothing else, I am certain you would be welcomed at Castle Redcliffe. The Arlesser is there, and she could tell you more than I could. Good luck to you. And to you, Alistair. I hope to one day see you again. And you, Sir Donald. Ah, it is good to see you again. Allow me to mark my place in my book. Now then, what can I do for you? What? And you have his locket? And a note? Maker's mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. Thank you. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. With Henrik gone, I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Thank you again, good sir. You have been most helpful.
And when the Maker spoke, a chant of light scattered in the darkness, a word to spell fear and ignorance. Let those who seek redemption be delivered. Let those who have sinned be forgiven. And when the chant spreads across all four corners of the world... It's terrible. So many come to Lotharine seeking refuge, only to find that we can offer little more than prayer. Does the Maker see our plight? Is he moved by this destruction? I, I apologize. The Maker's plan is too grand for me to fathom, especially at times like this. The Chant of Light. Surely you know it. Oh, of course. Forgive me. The Chant is our devotion to the Maker, our first commandment as followers of his prophet Andraste. The entire chant takes weeks to sing, and is only done straight through at the Grand Cathedral in Val Royo. Here we can only sing a few verses per week, and finish anew each first day. When the prophet Andraste was burned by the Magisters, the Maker turned away from his creations. We gain his forgiveness by spreading Andraste's teachings. The Maker will return when the chant is sung from the four corners of the world. We are preparing as we can, and when the revered mother calls on us to leave, we shall. But not before then. The revered mother presides over the Chantry, and Sir Bryant leads the few Templars guarding us. May the Maker watch over you. And then shall the Maker return to us. And then shall the Maker return to the Black City in Heaven. And then shall the Chant of Light make it pure. Return to us, and then shall the Maker return. We were lucky. We had the coin to pay the toll to those bandits. And then shall the chant of light I make it. I don't like the It won't be able to defend itself. Let all itself repeat the, the chant of light. Only the word dispels the darkness. And when the Maker spoke, I'm sorry, I cannot talk now. I must feed the holy brazier to ensure the flame never dies. It represents the flames that burned Andraste herself. Do you know the tale? The prophet was burned in the ancient city of Minrathus, before the ancient mages she had fought. Instead of dying in pain as the mages wanted, she was purified by the fire and taken by the Maker into the heavens to stand forever at his side. We are all sinners. The fire symbolizes our hope that forgiveness is possible. Thus, we all serve by feeding its flames. Of course. The dwarves have offered us coal and special rocks. Even the Circle of Magi volunteered to provide magical flames. If that isn't irony, I don't know what is. The flame means little without the act of remembering and atoning for our sins. It should take as much concentration to cleanse the soul as to cleanse the body. The revered mother is in the other room, but Sir Bryant can probably answer your questions. I wish you well. Let those who cry out from the shadows be comforted. Let those who seek redemption yes. be delivered. Let those I'm who sorry, sin but I must prepare the Chantry's vestments We were lucky. Them. We had the they coins that they told to those bandits. Many, many didn't. The Templars kill them. For the ears of the Maker, that in fear of our wavering faith. Then shall the Maker return to us, and then shall the Maker return to the Black City in Heaven, and then shall the chant of hmm. light make it pure. Let all mankind be humble. Let Greetings, all repeat and welcome the chant to the Chantry. And I'm off. Darkness upon us.
Will you be making a donation to the Chantry, my friend? You look like you have salvaged more of value than most who make it here. A great number of people could be fed and clothed for a fraction of your finery. But you must do as your heart wills. What can I do for you then? A Grey Warden? Here? Oh dear. You put me in a difficult position. You must know that Tern Loghain declared the Grey Wardens to be outlaws. Tern Loghain? That is as hard for me to believe as his condemnation of the Wardens. There is a price on your head. Lay low and I promise to keep your presence a secret. That is the best I can do. Now... If there is nothing else? I cannot help you without risking the safety of this village enchantry. The best I can do is keep your presence a secret. I am sorry. Now, if there is nothing else? May the Maker guard you, Grey Warden. Those who seek redemption be delivered. But those who have sinned, be forgiven. Yes. Hmm. I have a wonder, Alistair, if you will indulge me. Do I have a choice? Of the two of you that remain, are you not the senior Grey Warden here? I find it curious that you allow another to lead while you follow. You find that curious, do you? In fact, you defer to a new recruit. Is this the policy of the Grey Wardens, or simply a personal one? What do you want to hear? That I prefer to follow? I do. You sound so very defensive. Couldn't you crawl into a bush somewhere and die? That would be great, thanks. Please, we came here to get away from the fighting. Please, we came here to get away from the fighting. I'm scared. When are we going home? As if we needed more fighting here. Don't you see how scared everyone is? You might not want to go in. Tavern's full, and those soldiers are being a nuisance. Same reason the Chantry's full, packed with people who fled their homes. The tavern keeper's letting folks sleep on the floors, but he can only fit so many. And those soldiers are getting restless. They're not here to defend us. They were looking for someone before they started drinking. I hear they almost killed a man because they didn't like his face. I wonder if they're deserters from the King's army. Is there any reason to be happy? With the King dead, them Darkspawn will overrun Lothering before anyone can organise. You'd think those soldiers could at least run off the bandits. I hear someone gave them what they deserved. It wasn't you, was it? It was? Hey, everyone! This is the one who drove out those thieving bastards! More will probably come, but it's good to know some justice is left here. Thank you. I almost feel sorry for the Kunari locked in that cage. It won't be able to defend itself from the Darkspawn. I can't believe that Kunari creature isn't dead yet. I brought my family to Lothering because I thought it would be safe. Master Federon runs us miners hard. Harder still since Ostagar. I can't believe that Kunari creature isn't dead yet. So Terran Loghain is the new regent? Isn't that a good thing? I heard that he may have had something to do with the king's death. But I thought Darkspawn killed the king. That doesn't make any sense. It's probably political nonsense. We'll be lucky if they don't burn down the entire country fighting over the throne. Best be careful. Darkspawn are coming. Make his blessing to you.
going. Did you speak to that knight yesterday? Said he was from Redcliffe. He talked to everyone in the tavern. How are we supposed to know where the urn of sacred ashes is? Might as well ask us how to get to the moon. He said that all the Redcliffe knights were looking for it, as if they didn't have anything better to do. I don't get it. Well, look what we have here, men. I think we've just been blessed. Uh-oh. Loghain's men. This can't be good. Didn't we spend all morning asking about a dwarf by this very description? And everyone said they hadn't seen one. It seems we were lied to. Gentlemen, surely there is no need for trouble. These are no doubt simply more poor souls seeking refuge. They're more than that! Now stay out of our way, sister. You protect these traitors, you'll get the same as them. I doubt he would listen. He blindly follows his master's commands. I am not the blind one. I served at Ostagar, where the turn saved us from the Grey Warden's treachery. I serve him gladly. Enough talk! Take the Warden into custody. Kill this sister and anyone else that gets in your way. Right. Let's make this quick. And I'm off. Oh, you wanna die? I never liked this part. Oh, this will be good. You should run while you can! Find you! Alright, you've won! We surrender! Good. They've learned their lesson and we can all stop fighting now. I was there! The turn pulled us out of a trap. The Wardens led the King to his death. The turn could do nothing! Please wait! They have surrendered. They were no match for you. Let them be. But they failed, and I do not wish death on anyone. W what do you want to tell him? I'll tell him right away, now. Thank you. I apologize for interfering. But I couldn't just sit by and not help. Let me introduce myself. I am Liliana, one of the lay sisters of the Chantry here in Lothring. Oh, I was. Those men said you're a Grey Warden. You will be battling the Darkspawn, yes? That is what Grey Wardens do. I know after what happened, you will need all the help you can get. That's why I'm coming along. The Maker told me to. I... I know that sounds absolutely insane, but it's true. I had a dream. A vision. More crazy? I thought we were all full up. Look at the people here. They are lost in their despair, and this darkness, this chaos, will spread. The Maker doesn't want this. What you do, what you are meant to do, is the Maker's work. Let me help. I 
can fight. I can do more than fight. As I said, I was not always a lay sister. I put aside that life when I came here. But now, if it is the Maker's will, I will take it up again. Gladly. Please let me help you. Then what? What happens when the hold comes? It will follow anywhere we flee until all we know is destroyed. Perhaps your skull was cracked worse than Mother thought. Thank you. I appreciate being given this chance. I will not let you down. Indeed. Ah, uh, tis you. I almost feel sorry for the Kunari locked in that cage. It won't be able to defend itself from the Darkspawn. You're gonna make more trouble? We've about all we can stand in Lothering now. Well, those boys were trouble themselves, to tell the truth. Right then, name's Denial. Sorry I can't chat much. As you see, we've a full house. Look around. People are sleeping on the floors and in the attic. That's how many rooms I don't have. I hear news from Dinnerham that Tian Logain has been declared the new regent. It makes sense, his daughter being the queen. Anything else I can get you? I heard from some travellers that something bad might have happened in Redcliffe. Overrun by Darkspawn, maybe. There's no word from the village at all. 
Merchant friend of mine said he encountered someone fleeing the place and there was nothing waiting for him there but death. He wisely turned around and came right back. Anything else I can get you? Some folks aren't happy about Tyrn Logain being named Regent. There are rumours he had something to do with the King's death. Isn't that the most ridiculous thing you ever heard? The Darkspawn killed him, sure enough. If Tyrn Logain couldn't save the King from that inn, then nobody could. Anything else I can get you? I hear tell they held a funeral in Denerim for King Caelan. The Grand Cleric called for a full day of mourning and there was a procession a mile long passing by the Brasier. It's too bad they don't have a body to properly burn. What happened to him at the hands of those creatures, it's unthinkable. Anything else I can get you? With King Caelan dead, the throne falls to Queen Honora. She's made her father the regent, however, at least for now. I think Caelan's father, old King Merrick, would have approved. Anything else I can get you? I hear the Dwarven King is passed on. Old as he was, he was probably poisoned or assassinated. That's how the Dwarves normally go out, isn't it? Anything else I can get you? Fact the Maker, we didn't lose Tyrn Loghain at Ostagar. He pulled his troops out just in time, so it said. Without him, we'd be lost. Anything else I can get you? I hear that Tyrn Loghain, the regent, is calling for new levies of troops. He wants to rebuild the army we lost at Astagar. Thing is, there's not a lot of spare men to be found. Out of Dragon's Peak, there's press gangs roaming around, grabbing any free man they can lay their hands on. Anything else I can get you? Something's going on at the Major's Tower at Lake Kalenhod. Nobody knows exactly what, though, and the Templars aren't saying. Exactly what we need, isn't it? Let's hope the Majors are just cooking up something to deal with the Darkspawn. Somebody should be, after all. Anything else I can get you? I hear from folks travelling the East Roads that there's werewolves in the Brazilian forest. Actual werewolves. They haven't been around since the days of Dane and his ilk. Anything else I can get you? There's knights from Redcliffe spread all over Ferelden on some kind of mission. But I hear that they're starting to become rare to find. Maybe they all went back to Redcliffe. More likely they got tired of searching for something that can't be found and abandoned their search. I wonder what Earl Eamon is going to do without any knights. Anything else I can get you? There's a nasty rumour going around that the Grey Wardens are evil and that they worship the Archdemon. They're the ones that cause the blight. They were getting upset, see? that there was no use for them anymore, so they summoned up the Archdemon to do their bidding. It would explain a great many things. Anything else I can get you? I've heard a lot of stories of bands of darkspawn roaming the countryside far north of the Kokori Wilds. They just seem to appear out of nowhere and disappear just as fast. Anything else I can get you? Some hunters who range into the Brazilian forest say that a Delish clan there has fallen to some kind of sickness. The blight, most likely, poor sods. Anything else I can get you? There's talk that King Caelan was cheating on the Queen and she found out about it. That's why Tyrn Loghain abandoned Caelan at Ostagar. Anything else I can get you? I'm hearing many tales of corpses clawing out of their graves all over. Not just people either, animals too. Just yesterday, a farmer told me about the kitten his daughter had buried behind his barn. Little thing came back to life and crawled up, mewling as loud as you please. His daughter was delighted, at least until it just about chewed her finger off. Strange days, I tell you. Anything else I can get you? When Tian Logan marched by, he left those fellas behind to look for Grey Wardens. I suppose that's you. I have no qualm with you, whatever the Tian says. My grandfather served. Your secret's safe with me. What can I get you then? A lesser he sold the young Orlesian woman that married Arl Eamon. I hear tell she tried to poison her husband so she could marry his brother, Ben Tegan. Make us honest truth. Anything else I can get you? Luck speed your way. Yes. I'm scared. When are we going home? I'll have no fighting in my kitchen. Out with you.
I, uh, I, I don't want any trouble. Please, don't hurt me. With any luck, the king died quickly. You know anyone in the north looking for a field hand? You're here about food. Take it up with that bleeding runt by the chantry. I got other gear to sell. Check the chanter's board by the chantry. There's good jobs, huh? Um, <clears throat> I don't suppose you know anything about uh, poison. I figured if I kept asking, I'd find someone. I'd pay good coin for some simple poison. Something to slow them beasties down or make them think twice. Well, there's herbs in the north wood. As for other stuff, look around town. Some refugees just left things behind to travel faster. I don't really know what you need, though. I, I might have some in stock, too. As I live and breathe, you're the Grey Warden everyone's been talking about. I represent the Blackstone Irregulars. We're a mercenary company that fell on hard times after the war with Orlais. I'm sure you know that times are getting worse every day. With your help, the Irregulars could be of use to Ferelden once more. Our leaders thought you might be willing to help. Each of our posts in Ferelden will contain letters addressed to you. Unlike most who work with us, you're getting letters straight from Railnor and Tauran, our leaders. I hope this tells you how highly the Irregulars regard the Grey Wardens. Thank you. When you've completed a mission, just return to me or any of our members stationed at an Irregulars post. We'll make sure your efforts are rewarded. Make us blessings light your path. Sorry, I don't know any dwarven songs. I just play what the innkeeper asks. Any luck with that poison? Or you're here to see my stock?
So how is it the Terran Loghain survived when even the Grey Wardens didn't make it out of that place? Place down south. I heard he saw just in time what those Grey Wardens were doing and saved his men. They say your mother is Flemeth, a witch of the Kukari Wilds. They also say that washing your feet in winter makes you catch cold in the head, but we all know that is not true. But sometimes they are right, and they are right in this. You know the stories about... Of course. You think my mother would let me go without telling me all the stories of her youth? My mother told me stories too. She was the one who kindled my love of the old tales and legends. Hmm. My mother's stories curdled my blood and haunted my dreams. No little girl wants to hear about the wilder men her mother took to her bed, using them till they were spent, then killing them. No little girl wants to be told that this is also expected of her once she comes of age. I... um... I see. No, you don't. You really don't. Are you here to make my head ache, or do you actually want to buy? It isn't much, but take a look if you want. So, let me get this straight. You were a cloistered sister? You must have been... I've got a cousin in the Templars. He says the mages in the tower out on Lake Kalanhard are all too... So Any luck with that poison? Or are you here to see my stock? Splendid! Uh, if those beasties come on my land... I hope it teaches him a lesson. Yeah, there's enough gold to cover any of your expenses and then some, hey? Eh? <laughs> I hear there isn't even really any dark spawn down south. It's all Grey Warden. How dare you accuse me of thievery? I saw you take the supplies from my car. Your grassland eyes are inept. A chase end would never stoop to petty theft. You marsh folk are all thieves and liars. Enough. People here are already desperate and frightened. They don't need you two coming to blows. But what about my food? I said enough. You do not seem a refugee. Are you part of the army? The carnage we left in the wilds was horrifying. Shock your bus. Rade starit, merade twasit, abana kyun, maras shokra, anane sam kyun. You aren't one of my captors. I have nothing to say that would amuse a dwarf. Leave me in peace. A prisoner. I'm in a cage, am I not? I've been placed here by the Chantry. The revered mother said he slaughtered an entire family. Even the children. I am Sten of the Beresad, the vanguard of the Kunari peoples. If you haven't heard of us, that is your own shortcoming. Though it matters little now, I will die soon enough. This is a proud and powerful creature, trapped as prey for the Darkspawn. If you cannot see a use for him, I suggest releasing him for mercy's sake alone. Mercy? I wouldn't have expected that from you. I would also suggest that Alistair take his place in the cage. Yes, that's what I would have expected. 
I suggest you leave me to my fate. I have been convicted of murder. Have the villagers not spoken of this? Twenty days now. I shouldn't last much longer, another week at most. Are you asking if I feel guilt or if I am responsible for the deed? However I feel, whatever I've done, my life is forfeit now. The people of a farm hold. Eight humans, in addition to the children. There is no difficulty in capturing prey that surrenders. I waited for several days until the knights arrived. Because I wished to. Death will be my atonement. I would prefer to die in battle, but my choices have been made. The Blight. Are you a Grey Warden, then? Surprising. My people have heard legends of the Grey Warden's strength and skill. Though I suppose not every legend is true. Perhaps if you told her the Grey Wardens need my assistance, it seems as likely to bring my death as waiting here. Farewell, then. To be left here to starve? Or to be taken by the Darkspawn? No one deserves that. Not even a murderer. That Marsh man stole from me! I know it! Please! We came here to get away from the fighting. I'm wondering, Morrigan, do you believe in the Maker? Certainly not. I've no primitive fear of the moon, such that I must place my faith in tales so that I may sleep at night. But this can't all be an accident. Spirits, magic, all these wondrous things around us, both dark and light. You know these things exist. The fact of their existence does not presuppose an intelligent design by some absentee father figure. So it is all random, then. A happy coincidence that we are all here. Attempting to impose order over chaos is futile. Nature is, by its very nature, chaotic. I don't believe that. I believe we have a purpose. All of us. Yours, apparently, being to bother me. Yes? What can I do for you? I knew this time would come. I should have listened to my sister. Sure, sign the paper, she said. You'll enjoy some coin now, but they'll be back. I guess I'll see you on the front lines. Good day, Sister Liliana. I'm surprised to see you're still in Lothering. It is good to see you as well, Your Reverence. Is there something I can do for you, then? It might have been kinder to execute him, but I leave his fate to the Maker. Why does he interest you? He butchered an entire farmhold. Only one of the youngest hid long enough to survive. The child said his father had found the canary gravely wounded and took him in. That kindness was repaid with murder. The bandsman found the canary just standing amidst the carnage. He did not resist them.
He would not say, though he acknowledged his guilt. Even the Caesar knights who apprehended him were disturbed by the carnage. However docile he appears, do not be fooled. That canari is a danger. The Maker demands justice, regardless of his race. Then his next victims might count you and me as their murderers. And what do you say on this, Leliana? You know your friend better than I. These are unusual times, Your Reverence. With us, the Kunari might do some good. I am sure of it, in fact. Were things not so desperate? Very well, I trust you. Take these keys to his cage and make her watch over you. Thank you, Your Reverence. Your trust is not misplaced. So, I take it you did not enjoy your Templar training? That's directed at me, I take it. Do you see any others about who have failed at their religious instruction? I didn't fail. I was recruited into the Grey Wardens. And if you had not been recruited, what would have happened instead? I would have turned into a drooling lunatic, slaughtered the Grand Cleric, and run through the streets of Denerim in my small clothes, I guess. Your self-awareness does you credit. I thought you'd like that. You wish something more of me. I confess, I did not think the priestess would part with it. So be it. Set me free and I will follow you against the Blight. I have spent my life in the Vanguard. I know war, and your lands need all the help they can get. And so it is done. I will follow you into battle. In doing so, I shall find my atonement. Then I will find it myself. May we proceed. I am eager to be elsewhere. Of all the- Yes. Indeed. You got a bed for the night. You taken care of. <laughs> Better armed than most refugees that come through. Not implying you're a deserter or the like. I'll trust you can take care of yourself. Ever since Good King Kalen passed, refugees and soldiers have been passing through. I'm the elder here, and I've my hands full making sure refugees don't turn to petty theft or worse. <coughs> Sir Bryant at the Chantry is seeing to matters of defense and such. He'd have more of an ear for your type. 
Too much to do, and not enough time. I don't suppose you know anything of tonics, medicines, or herbs. Then you may be able to do us a lot of good. All manner of travellers come through, many injured or sick. We do our best, but we're out of supplies. There's medicinal herbs in the woods to the north. If you make a few poultices, I'll scrape together some sort of payment. I'll write all you need to know in this note here. Have any luck finding herbs in the woods? This will help many people. You're a good sort, you know. I brought my family to Lothering because I thought it would be safe. We were lucky. We had the coin to pay the toll to those bandits. The light has many truly didn't. Come, and the king is dead. I don't like this place. So Why let's talk about your brother mother the for a moment. Hope we're I'd not rather next. talk about your mother. Well, there's nothing to talk about. And besides, isn't your mother a scary witch who lives in the middle of a forest? Much more interesting. To you, perhaps. You would find the moss growing upon a stone interesting. You know what's more interesting than that? Apostates. Mages outside of the tower. That's illegal, you know. You did not read that in a book somewhere, did you? I hope the small letters did not strain you over much. Oh, we could not talk about your mother. That works for me. Yes. Hello, uh, stranger. I don't suppose you know anyone that can make traps. I would happily pay you to make some. There's wood and nails and other goods around the village in the forest. But you probably already know that. Sorry. Come back if you make some. Did you... did you make any traps? All st strangers do. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. You seem nice. Oh, what a relief. Thank you, stranger. We don't know what was said. You're a warden. I don't know if you killed King Kalen, and make her forgive me, I don't care. But that bounty on your head could feed a lot of hungry bellies. 
Attack! Drooling and save some dignity. Oh, look! The fight. I'm off.
Blood and damnation! Going.
Yes. Back, Sandal! Don't let him touch you! I'm off. Mighty timely arrival there, my friend. I'm much obliged. You want a reward, eh? I suppose that's an entirely reasonable request. How does a hundred silver sound? I was going to use that to fix up the cart, but uh, quite frankly, I'll be grateful enough that my son and I come out of this with our heads. Unsold goods, I'll point out, though you've a fair point. Here's 200 silver, but it's all I have. The name's Bodon Fedek, merchant and entrepreneur. This here is my son, Sandal. Say hello, my boy. Hello. Road's been mighty dangerous these days. Mind if I ask what brings you out here? Perhaps we're going the same way. Grey wounds. Hmm. My, that does rather explain a lot. No offence, but I suspect there's more excitement on your path than my boy and I can handle. Allow me to bid you farewell and good fortune, though. Goodbye. Now then, let's get this mess cleaned up, shall we?
Make us blessings upon you, Warden. I still don't have food to sell. Should go out to the dwarves. They're safe from all these dark spawn, I bet. Living underground. Don't you ever talk? You know, make polite conversation, just to put people at ease. You mean that I should remark upon the weather before I cut off a man's head? Never mind. Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. Hmm. I was hoping for something more exciting. Going!
going. The path of righteousness is full of hardship, but the Maker smiles upon its travelers. And the stars stood still, the winds did quiet, and all animals of earth and air held their breath. All was silent in prayer and thanks. Going. For a foundation built of stone, marble, or any precious metal is... Mm. Worthless if faith in the Maker is absent. Vashadan. Indeed. I still don't have food to sell.
Some fellow in the tavern said that the darkspawn turned folks into ghouls. What's a ghoul? Bad dreams, huh? Well, it is real, sort of. You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde, and we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. He did. He said he felt the Archdemon's presence. Everyone just assumed he was guessing. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. Other than dying young and the whole defeat the blight alone thing, no, I'm all tapped out for surprises. Anyhow, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. <laughs> 